Afternoon guys. So the latest video about scale using the tyre has been received really well. But just before I went to bed last night, well early hours of the morning, I had a notification on my phone and it was to tell me about this message here, letting me know that I had messed up by using the wrong size for the wheel. Because I was going to bed, obviously I didn't you know, respond to it at the time. I've come back to it this afternoon to, to check it out. Now I've got a bit of free time. And at this point, there are other people making the same comment and everybody's right. I have screwed up and used the wrong numbers. So I'm just going to quickly talk about that. And once I'm done having a quick look around and, and seeing what's went wrong, well, it, explaining what's went wrong, I'm going to also pin this comment so everybody knows as soon as they hit the video that, you know, there is a mistake. And I'd like to thank William for being the first person to actually point this out. So just briefly to let you know, you know, I have various different ideas for making videos and I'll, what I'll generally do is I'll make up a folder on my computer, put some stuff in there that I need to use to make the video. But it doesn't always get done straight away. You know, it might be a week later, it might be three months later. So with the this tire scale thing, I had taken some photographs and various things and put it into the folder. And initially I'd used this tire size calculator to get my circumferences. Because obviously I I, I knew I had to allow for the tire size. Um, and you can see if I move around, you can see the date on this. This is the title of the video as it comes out of OBS. So it tells you basically exactly when this was done. And you can also see it in the bottom corner of the video if I stop moving for a second. If you look at the taskbar in the video version, you can see it says there 13th of the 10th, 2052 on the bit I've got it paused at. So this is the initial look at the size of the tyre. But when it came time later to actually come back to it and make the video, I decided not to use this. I had recorded it in OBS because I was going to use it in the video, but then decided against it. I decided to go the other way and just display the figures on screen with the tyre. And somehow, when I've come back today, I've messed up the numbers and it looks as though it's actually even worse than what most people are thinking because I think the that William and a few of the other people are suggesting that I've just failed to account for the size of the tire and I actually thought oh that that is what's wrong turns out that I've done uh, something much worse which is that I appear to have used the diameter as the radius when I've been doing my initial calculations so yep yeah, bit of a mess um so just quickly I'll just show you this this is the the Tire calculations on the 14 inch tire, and then if I skip in somewhere, I should be able to find this site didn't allow me to put 17 and a half inches in, so this was the nearest I could get at the time with the calculations for the 17 and a half inch tire. So now that I know I've screwed up, and what I've done is I've, I've went back and I've adjusted all the calculations, taken the proper a diameter into account and then added in the extra couple of inches for the tire sizes and let me just find that so this is what we've got so these are all the original values on the left that you'll see in the video and this is what we've got now so originally for the 14 inch tire it was 2234 as stated in the video it's now 1815 millimeters one degree was 6.2 millimetres, it's actually really 5.04 millimetres. And the number of valve caps it would take to make up the entire circumference of the tyre has dropped from 372 to 302 and a half. Excuse me. So then obviously you've got the adjusted figures for the, the 17 and a half inch tyre. Same again, everything's a bit lower. Um, from 2793 to 2320 on the circumference, from 7.75 millimetres per degree to 6.44 millimetres per degree, and then the number of caps. Originally, I'd stated it as 465 and a half, it's now 386.6. So, the adjusted scale 
that we end up with at the end of the video, the, the kind of the final point that gets made in the video is using the Empire State and how that matches up to the valve cap on the tyre. So this has been adjusted here. So originally I'd stated that it would take 860 Empire State buildings laid side by side to take up the equivalent space of the valve cap. Um, what I've done here is I've, I've taken the difference between your single degree 6.2mm and 5.04mm and done a kind of a quick sort of rough, you know, remove the six essentially, and that leaves us with the new figure of seven hundred and seventeen Empire State Buildings would take up the space of the valve cap. So again, I want to thank uh, William for first pointing this out to me. Um, you know, I fucked up, but at least now we know what it should be. But the thing about it is, is that the the point that's made in the video. All of that still stands. The numbers are slightly different, but the whole point of it is to show that you can take this normal everyday object and use it as a means to evaluate the scale of things and on the earth and understand just how really how small everything is locally and how ridiculous it is to use that local scale as a an estimation for the overall view that you have of the earth. Now I have noticed as well that in some of the comments I'm getting accused of being a liar because I made the mistake. So no, I'm no a liar. I made a mistake, I fucked up and now I'm rectifying it. Now if any of these people, especially as they seem to be deltards, want to talk to me about what it's like to be a liar then I will put my honesty and integrity up against any flat earther any day of the week, especially Dell. So again, thanks to everybody for watching the video, liking it, especially thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to William for pointing out the problem initially and anybody else who's noticed it since. Um, I will, as I say, pin the comment so that anybody coming to the video fresh will see straight away that there has been a mistake and that it's been caught. And I will also add the link to this new video in the description so everybody can see the correction. Cheers, guys.